but a pleasant surprise. How considerate of you to deliver Maxwell right to me. Tell me, Alfred Vincent, why is it that you have betrayed us? It's simple. Because the truth is, I've always despised you. I see. So you're prepared to spend the rest of your life in Riza Maxia. Like that matters to me. <laughs> How'd you do that? I didn't feel any spirits die. What's going on? Eat this! So you're Maxwell. You look quite a bit different now. Be quiet! Who told you to speak? Yes, Master. What the heck was that? Why are you taking orders from that big jerk? It's only natural for tools to obey their wielders. The only tool here is you! Spirits and humans are supposed to live in harmony! My servant here is hardly your garden variety type spirit. She's actually a spyrite. What? We used boosters to recreate the spirit Celsius from the spirit fossil in which she lay dormant. She is the physical manifestation of a spirit art itself. So now you're using the spyrite's mana to perform arts? <laughs> and that's why she's a tool. Does it all make sense now? How could you? You're despicable! So that's why you took Tipo's Gata? How could you do that to him? Little lady, I need to personally thank you for that. You told us precisely how to give birth to the Spyrites. And how to turn Riza Maxia into energy. I take it those aren't tears of joy, little lady. <laughs> How can you be such a monster? Conductor, I thought the curtain closed on your career long ago. Why insist on an encore even now? I'll have you know that I'm as stubborn as my king, Gilland. And I'm not about to forgive you for toying with his life. We won't lose to you. No way! <laughs> Is that supposed to frighten me? You really should know your place, boy. You don't have the power or ambition to make good on such threats. You of all people have no right to talk of power or ambition! But you know, you use them both for your twisted objectives! I have little interest at all in continuing this conversation. But answer this one question. Do you know the difference between you and Jude? <laughs> As if I care. As I thought. And that's exactly what makes you a fool. The lance is spooling up to absorb more mana. Come, Maxwell. I'll allow you to live. However... The rest of you will die! I will protect all in Riza Maxia, people and spirits alike. That's it, Gilland! This madness ends right now! It's time I got rid of you once and for all! Funny. I was just thinking the same thing. I won't let you harm that. Out of our way! Mew, wait! Who's right? We should not win the rest of these notes yet. This is my ultimate creation! Face true power and die! Oh, 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 oh,
that of the great spirits. The power of Spyrite. Doesn't matter. Gillen's ambitions end here. <laughs> no, not now. Not when we finally created a Spyrite. Damn it. The only thing you really want to do is gain favor with the outside to boost your influence. What's the point in making these Spyrites, or whatever you call them? Spyrites are different from Spyrix devices. They allow us to wield incredible power without consuming spirit. Olympias is overflowing with people and technology, and we need Spyrites to sustain ourselves. What are you talking about? As spirits have become scarce, so has the manor in Olympias. Our world is now doomed to fade away. So that is why you implemented the Otherworld Reactor Plan. But it's your fault. For getting hooked on Spyrex to begin with, now you have to live with the consequences. But if Spyrites become commonplace, the people of Olympias will have all the mana they need. Isn't it a bit late for that? You were the ones who chose to rely on Spyrex 2,000 years ago. That wasn't me! <sighs> <sighs> Are you okay? My death is not going to change the face of Risa Maxia. Our, our plan can proceed so long as the schism exists. Everything you've done is for nothing! Is he dead now? Perhaps that was the price he had to pay for using Celsius. It was a high price to pay, even for that much power. Well, I'll be taking this back. Glendor, you'll cement. Goodbye, Uncle. Has everything been settled now? You just missed it. This doesn't feel right. Not at all. Exodus must abandon their plans. They must be forced to, for the sake of Riza Maxia. Right.
Maxwell. Even you won't interfere here. I'll destroy it. into the lands, then maybe... <laughs> so you're saying we should willingly give that thing power? It can mean the death of us. And... We're dead either way. We have no choice. left you need to do with the schism gone exodus's plan will come to an end isn't that right what no i want you to win but not if that means losing you let it go. What are you doing? I have to save her! Can't you see? Mila's gonna kill herself! Don't do this! Please!
did you have to die? What am I supposed to do now? My mission was to help Mila. How did it end up like this? I was able to get in touch with Rowan and Elise. But nobody seems to be able to get a hold of Alvin. <sighs> Don't. Just stop. Again? Jude, you gotta stop doing this. If you keep this up, we're gonna run out of food. I'll make you some more. Be right back. Is my ticket home to Olympias. All I have to do is kill you off. That deal I made with Musei. After everything that happened, she attacked us. After all, anybody who learns about the schism will have to die. It is my mission. you want. You always try to go with the flow. You really piss me off, you know. it her all. She sacrificed her life for the people of Rize Maxia, for the spirits, and for us. Mila's responsibility, her mission, was to protect everyone. What do you mean, her mission? How absurd! She was just the bait, created to lure out Gilland and people like him. None else mattered to her, understand? 
certainly not a sense of duty or justice. None of that mattered to her whatsoever. <laughs> and then she worked so hard, didn't she? <laughs> her mission meant nothing. Up here. Right there. I won't let you hurt him. I can't let you do this. It's over. You've got nowhere left to run. No, it's not over. Open your eyes already. Damn you, Alvin. Every damn thing we did was pointless. Pointless. It wasn't pointless. I met Mila. I traveled with her. She made me think. She taught me many things. And it helped me grow as an individual. The schism is definitely still up. But why, damn it? The sky is as red as it's ever been. I still can't see Olympias. <laughs> if the schism wasn't dispelled, then why'd I let her die? What was the point? She died for nothing. Mila... died for nothing? That's not true! Listen! Everybody is still here! Elise is, and so is Rowan! I'm sure Gaius and the others are too! Saved our lives? For what? She's gone now, isn't she? Just plain old human beings. We can't be like her. Mila inspired everyone to give everything they had. We kept going because of her. But in the end, we could never be like her. Jude, did you not realize how conflicted Mila was? She was torn between her mission to protect the schism and the actions that could eventually lead to her own death. Mila. <laughs> it's no wonder that she never found her answer. Her existence and her mission were just lies that were given to her. 
humans and spirits alike were precious to her. So precious that she valued them more than her own life. That was the Mila I loved. Mila finally gave you something to live for, and I suppose that made you very happy. Too bad it was all for nothing. All that time you spent with her, all those feelings you have. Time to set them aside. Set them aside? Put an end to my feelings? You can't throw it away! Don't you understand, Jude? Mila saved my life. She saved me. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Leia. I didn't mean to. Alvin! Jude, this is your fault! Why? Alvin, why? Why are you surprised? Isn't this what you expected from me? Not like this! Well, that's too bad. You've been pissing me off since day one! Always the perfect student, trying to please everyone! Never will bring those damn ideals! Then what? What did you want me to do? Uh, homing cannon! Fall! Alright! Is this how it's gonna be? <sighs> Why are we doing this? Say that to me! Mila saved your rotten life! Don't be so eager to just throw it away! Don't you get it? Mila died because... She wanted us to live! She didn't die so we would... So we'd end up like this. Well then... What the hell should we be doing?! I'm not Mila. I can't live like her. I don't have a mission to fulfill. She's not here to hold our hands anymore. We have to think for ourselves now. Think for ourselves how? No one is going to make our decisions for us anymore. And no one, no one will take responsibility for our actions ever again. <sighs> Even if Mila's mission was all a lie, the truth is, she was still willing to put her life on the line to fulfill it. It's not a matter of if you can or can't. It's a matter of whether you do or don't. Jude. You. Oh. 
Why did it take me this long to figure out what Mila was trying to tell us? Let's get moving. Alvin. Goodness. Jude, are you okay? I'm fine. Just fine. Don't worry about me. Okay. Where's Alvin? I don't know. He took off. Leia, thank you. Huh? For what? For watching over me for so long. Thanks. Jude. Did something happen I don't know about? I just realized something. No, you helped me realize something. And for that, I thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to search for Maxwell. But Mila is... No, Maxwell is somewhere else. Remember what Muse said? Mila was just the bait to protect the schism. That would mean someone else was using Mila as a decoy. It wasn't Muse? No, it couldn't have been. If it was, why would she appear before us? There'd be no point in a decoy. So that's why you think Maxwell is somewhere else out there? Yeah. You haven't tossed the food on the floor yet. You're a much nicer patient than I was. You can say that again. So when are you leaving? As soon as you're better. I'm fine. I'm a tough girl, remember? Leia, am I the reason you've pushed yourself so hard? What do you mean? I know I always stick my nose into other people's business. I'm wondering now if that ended up hurting you. Please, you can be honest. I had... I had to grow strong because I couldn't stand the thought of seeing you sad again. Then I'll be stronger, so you won't have to. All better? Yep, perfect. So where should we go? I want to talk to Muse, but we're no match for her right now. I was thinking of searching for Ivor. Yeah, I guess a handmaid might know about this stuff. That is, if he survived. Oh, who am I kidding? That guy's like a cockroach! <laughs> Muse began attacking the fleeing Exodus and Olympia's soldiers. We grew concerned for your safety. She never tracked you down? We've been on the run. So far we've managed to elude her. But about you? Alvin found us. You saw that big fat liar? Yes, we sure did. I see. I'm sad to hear that. What will you two do now? 
We're going to look for Maxwell. We can see Mila again? No, Jude believes there's a real Maxwell out there. I see. That thought never occurred to me, although it would explain much. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. <laughs> the honor student is now the teacher. You've certainly come a long way, young man. Anyway, we're planning to find Ivor first. We'll deal with Muse later. Just thinking about her scares me. Jude, have you heard about Gaius? No, nothing. For whatever reason, he's begun a large-scale operation in Fenmont. It caught Muse's attention. She's attacked the city relentlessly, but he's driven her off each time. Leia, this'll be a dangerous journey. You still okay with coming along? Of course! I'm coming too! I'd like that, but are you sure? We want to know if Mila was a phony or not! Although... that doesn't change the fact that she's still our friend. I have my own reasons for wishing to meet with Gaius. Thanks, guys. I did not foresee. Someone must have been influencing Mila, possibly controlling her. Did the four share with her the truth? Impossible. They would never disobey my command. you stray from the path? I know not what to make of this. Jude seems a little different now. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, maybe he's grown a little tougher? Young men can mature dramatically in very short periods of time. Jude seems to have found the resolve to confront the harsh truths of the world. Women grow up too, you know. We have no choice but to. Yes. So you can grow big bazongas like Mila! That's... that's not the sort of growing up we mean. 
I shall do whatever I must to see you all safely into adulthood. you and Jude for a while, huh? Pretty much. Did you cook for him? Yeah, sure. And anything else? L like what? Elise, if you have something you want to say, come say it to me straight. You're the one who needs to be telling it straight. Nothing happened, okay? Nothing at all. Uh... Boring. That's too bad. You'll get him next time. Damn it, Elise. I can't believe you had Tebow bad caught me like that. Tired? Ah, uh, a little bit. Yeah, things aren't the same as they used to be. Hey, Elise, can we borrow Tipo for a sec? Huh? Give Tipo a squeeze. You'll feel better. Ooh, this does feel good. Just the right amount of resistance. I could do this all day. No, stop! I can't take any more! Ah, all the stress has drained through my fingers. I know, right? It's crazy addictive. Oh no! He's gonna get all stretched out! I feel so violated. Got it? <laughs> You too.
Thank you. 